Well, let's hear now live from Makram Raba, who is assistant professor of history with the American University of Beirut. Professor, welcome. At this stage, can we still say that an all-out war between Hezbollah and Israel is unlikely? Good morning. Actually, I think that people are waiting for the big war, while in fact we are living a different kind of war, which will be a kind of an ongoing war, which will not be stopped by simple diplomatic measures. I think that the targeted uh, the targeting of uh, Hamas leader in in the heart of Hezbollah controlled territories in Lebanon is an indication that while the US and Israel are very close allies the Israeli government will not march to the beat of the Biden administration's drum especially because Hezbollah has uh, been waging an all open war through different ways, be it through the Houthis or through their allies in Iraq and in Syria. I know that Lebanese politics is messy, but would Hezbollah, do you think, have popular support in Lebanon if it were to escalate the fighting? Well, d- definitely, I can I can say that no one in Lebanon, including those who support Hezbollah want an all uh, open war. One of the main reasons that Iran doesn't want a war, not not because it cares about Lebanon and the uh, national interests of the Lebanese, but the fact that the war at this particular moment in time is a losing war. And this is why Iran and Hezbollah are trying to uh, play out uh, this ongoing war in hopes that uh, the popular and the international support for Israel and for the Netanyahu government will peter out and then they can go back to their gray uh, to the gray area where they you can launch indirect attacks and thus use public opinion in different countries against these governments so the main idea is that certainly no lebanese wants to commit suicide at this particular moment by endorsing a war but i don't think that the lebanese here can change anything what's happening around them especially that over the years they have empowered hezbollah by staying silent over the fact that they are endorsing uh, an an uh, Iranian-sponsored project. Is Beirut on high alert? Is life there normal, difficult as normal is? Well, unfortunately, the capital Beirut is normal. If you want to define uh, normal, is basically people are going about their normal normal lives. However, the south of Lebanon has been under direct uh, shelling. And yesterday, the Israelis have extended their shelling beyond the front line, which will cause another wave of immigration or displacement, which will eventually make Lebanon, all of Lebanon, part of the war. And I think down the road, given Lebanon's economic collapse, that going into a a state of economic war will make everyone in Lebanon, including those on the peripheries, uh, feel uh, feel the, the escalation. Thank you very much. That's Makram Rabba, Assistant Professor of History with the American University of Beirut. He was speaking to us live from the Lebanese capital. Now, reports are growing that there's been a spate of arson attacks in Bangladesh.